Hey guys, quick video this time. I'd like to talk about a problem I recently experienced, which, when I think back, I've experienced multiple times over the past 10 years, but I always forget about it. So, let's start by telling you a little story about what happened. As I've shown before, I have lots of PUE devices in and around the house, and they get fed by this 12-port injector. This setup has been running for the past two years now, and I haven't had a problem with it whatsoever. But about two months ago, one of our cameras started cutting out now and then. And it was kind of random when this happened, but I figured, well, this camera is the furthest away, so it has the longest cable, and it actually has four connection points in between the cables. So I was like, okay, maybe a connection point is bad and I'll have to check all that. But upon inspecting, I couldn't really find a problem. All the connectors were fine, I replugged everything, and I even used a cable tester to see if all the connections were still in order, which they were. So what was the problem? Now, since it was cutting out randomly, I thought, okay, maybe because it's winter now and it's raining a lot, and maybe moisture is a problem. So I was like, well, this is the only cam. I can't really do anything about that right now. So I'll have to look at that later. And I started looking into moisture protection using big heat shrink and stuff like that. But as time went on, some of my other cameras also started to exhibit the same behavior. And this kind of reaffirmed the uh, moisture issue because all of these cams are outside and they have connections outside. It's like, yeah, well, it's logical. If this camera has that problem, the others will develop it too. And this also was kind of affirmed by the Microtech access points I have, I have five of them. They weren't showing any problems and they were using the same PUE injector. So it must be something like that, I thought. But it, it was all very illogical. I mean, if the Wi-Fi would cut out regularly, well, all of my home lighting and everything is run over Wi-Fi, so I'd surely notice that. And as it turns out, my hypothesis that it was uh, moisture related or something like that was wrong, because two weeks later, suddenly, all of my access points rebooted at the same time. I was like, what the hell? So I was getting ready to replace my PUE injector until I thought of something. Let's test the power supply that's connected to the PUE injector. And well, a quick test later, and this 48 volt 3 amp adapter was only putting out 24 to 25 volts while it had no load on it. So what had, had been happening is that this adapter was going bad slowly and it was dropping voltage, especially probably more with load on it, gradually over time. So the first camera was the one furthest away where it would be most influenced by the voltage drop. And after a while, it just couldn't deliver enough voltage or amperage or both to sustain all the devices in the house. So the lesson I've learned from this again is that power supplies can fail, but it doesn't mean they fail completely. And when I thought about that again, I was like, I've had this issue before. About five years ago, I had a cable modem, which had been working fine for about eight or nine months, suddenly start to cut out and drop in speed and sometimes suddenly reboot and I couldn't find a cause for it. And again, I checked the adapter and it had dropped from 12 volt to 9 volt and it just couldn't keep up anymore. I replaced the adapter, all problems were gone. And I've had the same thing with a router. A router had been working fine for one and a half years and suddenly it would lock up or reboot or exhibit very odd problems and again that one had a 24 volt adapter and it was only outputting 16 volt and that wouldn't even be the problem because the router could work with 12 volt too but it also couldn't deliver the amperage anymore that was needed at that voltage so this video serves more of a tip if you have a device which is working fine before but is now exhibiting strange problems like lockups and reboots or it's become slow or something else check the power adapter. And well, for me, I replaced it with another 48 volt adapter I had, and I purchased a Meanwell LRS 48 volt series, 
And this one is 150 watts, and I'll be using it to run the PUE injector and maybe one or two other devices also. These are generally a lot better quality than, admittedly, this Chinese adapter. Of course, it's three times as expensive, but I think it'll last three times as long too, and at least not cause these weird problems I've been having. So, well, that was kind of it for this video. Thank you for watching, and hope to see you back next time. Bye-bye.